The Pathfinder tool allows us to take two or more shapes and join them together into one shape or subtract out one piece of the shape to create a new shape or show the intersection. It does some other things too, but it's the intersection I want to talk about right now. Let's say that I'm trying to make a Venn diagram and I have data on the left and data on the right and I want to color each of these differently and then have a third color in here so that it can overlap. What a lot of people think you can do is just fill one with yellow and fill one with blue and the two will overlap or use transparencies and opacities, but that really isn't the best thing to do because your graphics may not always rip correctly or look the way you want them to on the web. So what I'm going to do instead is I am going to cut these out into three distinct pieces by using my very first Pathfinder. And when I hit divide, I really don't see anything happening. And that's because I am selecting everything with the selection tool. What I want to do is select pieces of this with the direct selection tool, which is the right arrow, which you can get to by simply typing the letter A. And when I do that, and then I can notice that I've got one section right here, I've got one section right here, and I've got a third section right here. So now I can take my yellow, and I can take my dark blue, and I can show the intersection of both of those. Whoops. I can show the intersection of both of these paths with a dark green, or with a green and if I tell it to show none of my outlines, then I've got the three pieces. With my selection tool, I can also pull these apart if I want, because now they're three distinct pieces. Where this becomes particularly handy is if I'm trying to do something like the Oly Olympic rings. And here, I have simply used the circle tool to draw five rings and colored them. The problem is with this though, and we can go through the different shapes here, I get an outline, or I get just a piece, or, and I get nothing there. So you can try this on your own to see what happens. But the problem is there's nothing that I'm going to get that's going to let me get this intersection. Because what I'm going to want to do is make this section right here yellow so that it appears to come on top. Or rather the series right here yellow. And this will not work with lines, which essentially is what these are. These are all lines with no fill. What I need to do instead, and I'm just going to put these down here for reference because I can never remember which order the Olympic rings comes in. What I want to do instead is I want to draw shapes. So I'm going to draw my first circle right here, and you'll see what I'm going to do in a minute. I'm going to come here to the middle exactly to the middle. I'm going to hold down Option so that I drag from the middle, and I am going to hold out Shift so I get a perfect circle. I'm then going to select both of these and then join them together. If I flip the color now, you will see that it is the inside is actually the circle. So I've actually created a shape with this. I'm going to make these a little bit smaller. And then I am going to pull off my Olympic rings. And once again, I can take the three of these and with a line, I can distribute the spacing so that they're perfectly spaced from each other. I can take two more, hold down Option, and I can pull them through. And now if I pull them through just right, I can see when these are exactly in the middle of the third ring 
and they're correct. And then simply eps, whoops, add my color for each of the different rings right here. And we'll get a yellow and a green. Now, here's the trick with these. I want them to go inside, over, and under to form my Olympic rings. So I'm going to select all of them, come back to Pathfinder, and I'm going to tell it to divide them. When it divides them, notice that I now have these little areas which can change. So I can't just change them individually. Notice that they're treated as one object when I use my black arrow or my selection tool. So I'm going to use my direct selection tool and click on this and choose the blue. Click over here, choose the black. Whoops, that's navy blue. The black. And then here, it's already coming through with the yellow. With here, I want this to be black. With this, I want this to be red. And now it is giving the illusion that all of my Olympic rings intersect.